Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be talking about clothing and textiles, uh, specifically microplastics in these clothing and textiles, and how they are affecting our environments and climate. Plastic pollution is an environmental issue that has been understood for decades now, but in recent years, microplastics present in clothing and textiles have emerged, causing concern within the industry. So what are microplastics in relation to clothing and textile? Microplastics are tiny plastic particles stemming from surrounding environments or from materials breaking down from larger plastics. Now, microfibers, similar to microplastics, are plastic strands woven into fabric into our daily, uh, everyday clothes. These fabrics that contain plastic include polyester, nylon, acrylic, and other synthetic materials that are cheap to produce and popular within the fashion production industry. So how are they getting into the ocean? So every time someone does laundry, a small amount of microfibers separate from the clothing that are produced from these materials since they are so cheaply made. The small and harmful microfibers travel through the filters. Since they are so small, they are not picked up through the filters in these machines. Then they make their way through the water treatment plants and ultimately end up in marine ecosystems. So where are they ending up? The smallest aquatic organisms to the largest marine creatures consume these fibers through the food chain even being ingested by marine species that humans consume on a daily basis, like fish, for example, that is ending up in our uh, systems. Unfortunately, microplastics and microfibers contribute up to 35% of the primary plastic that is polluting our oceans. As you can see in the graphic to the right, 35% is the highest out of all the plastics that is being put into our oceans. So every time we do our laundry, an average of 9 million microfibers are released into wastewater treatment and these plants that cannot filter them properly. And it was determined by scientists that the microfiber that released the most plastic per wash was acrylic with over 700,000 on the first wash alone. And acrylic is quite a popular material used in fast fashion nowadays. This issue is alarming due to the sheer amount of laundry that is done on a daily basis for households and individuals around the world. Each wash releases large amounts of microfibers and microplastics in surrounding ecosystems, impacting climate change as a whole. This mundane and normal activity is harmful to our planet. The issue with washing machines is they typically do not come with a filter, like dryers do. Everything that comes off the clothes in the washer travels through multiple systems, as the filtrations are too large to filter out the microplastics. As simple and minuscule as this problem may seem, it is evident that microplastics contribute to the climate crisis. Clothing and textile productions emit large amounts of emissions as the degradation of materials to microplastics largely emit greenhouse gases. Microplastic pollution alters the ocean's climate mitigation, regeneration, and resilience to climate change. It directly impacts the ocean's mitigation power by disrupting the flow of carbon present in the ocean. Biological carbon pump is a natural process executed by microorganisms that capture carbon on the ocean surface and transport it deeper into the ocean. This prevents the carbon from re-entering the atmosphere due to its absorption. Unfortunately, this natural process has hit a barrier as these organisms are struggling to absorb carbon through photosynthesis. They are affected by the ingested microplastics, which limits survival rates, the inability to sink impacting carbon storage, energy depletion, and fertility rates. Marine life is a key contributor to the ocean's biological carbon pump, it has been limited by microplastics, increasing carbon in the atmosphere. Furthermore, an increased amount of plastic in the water, air, and surrounding environments affect the overall health of these systems. Entire marine ecosystems are being destroyed by microplastics that go unnoticed. The overall health and lifespan of these ecosystems are decreasing, contributing to the warming of oceans, lack of biodiversity, and lack of cleanliness in these environments and these natural ecosystems. Ultimately, this reduces the ocean's resilience to climate change as a whole. There is an increased amount of waste in marine ecosystems, increasing pollution, and decreasing the health of these environments. However, there are integral solutions to these issues that can be applied to help mitigate these barriers associated with climate change. If the consumer has the means to switch to better quality materials, such as cotton, that is more sustainable, then this is an effective alternative, but it is expensive and not easily accessible for everyone. Instead, filtration devices can be inputted in washing machines that can catch microfibers falling off of the clothes during the cycle, but this can also be expensive. Filtration bags are an economically feasible alternative that traps microfibers off the piece of clothing placed in the bag. 
Additionally, washing clothes less often can be incorporated and buying fewer synthetic clothes may also help to show manufacturers that synthetic materials and fast fashion are not supported, ultimately decreasing overall demand. I provided some resources to check out if you're curious about this topic and wanna to research more. And thank you very much for listening, everyone. And I hope you learned something about microplastics and microfibers today.